Welcome back to Motion Pick Recap. Today we're going to recap the action and thriller movie titled, Largo Winch. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. A man called Nario Winch wakes up one night and takes a walk on his yacht. As he gets to the aft, he hears a sound from the water, and suddenly a diver appears, pushing him under the water till he drowns. We are taken to Yugoslavia in 1981 where we see a much younger Mr. Winch arriving with his trusted chauffeur and bodyguard Freddy at an orphanage. He is shown a screaming child he can adopt, when suddenly, he hears a laughing child crawling on the floor, hearing a woman calling the child Largo. Largo looks at Winch and smiles, and Winch smiles back. Next, Mr. Winch is seen meeting two friends called Josip and Hanna, who he asks to do something very important for him. Back at the present, a man is seen somewhere in Brazil. He enters a small hut where an old man asks his first and last name, but he answers it's just Largo. The man is later seen giving Largo a tattoo, saying he doesn't just give his invincibility tattoo to anyone, telling him how a man he gave it to once stopped bullets with his teeth. Suddenly, Largo hears a woman screaming, and he walks out. He goes up to a group of men grabbing her, trying to stop them, but is pushed back. Largo asks jokingly if he really is invincible, and the man answers the tattoo is still missing an eye. Largo goes back and starts fighting the men. He does some quick moves, and then runs off with the girl, and the two nick a bike and drive off. They later introduce each other, and she says her name is Leia, after which the two end up in bed together. Meanwhile in Hong Kong, a man called Meyer is seen asking to speak with a man called Korsky, saying that Nario Winch has died and that they are waiting for the Tokyo stock market to close before announcing it. Back in Brazil, Leia is seen injecting Largo with some sedative. Soon after, police appear, and they find a passport that is not his, and lots of drugs, asking if he knows this will put him in prison for 50 years. Next, a man called William is watching the news as they report on Nario Winch's death, saying cancer caused him to pass out and fall into the water, where he drowned. They also mention that the W Group remains the largest conglomerate in the world, and that Nario's right hand, and Ferguson, will be acting as manager until a new chairman is selected. The board members of W Group meet, and they note that an investment fund called IMX discreetly has been buying up all W Group stocks. One board member says they are safe since Nario owns 65% of shares, but William reminds him Nario is dead and that they are defenseless. Ferguson tells them Nario has an adopted son called Largo, and the others baffled say they never knew he had any heirs. We are taken back in time, and see Nario picking up an older Largo, leaving Hana and Josip that has raised him, as well as their own son Yoran who has been like a brother to him. Nario tells Largo it's time to prepare him for the role that awaits him. We then see Largo being educated in a top school. Back at the board meeting, Ferguson explains she also just found out about Largo's existence when Nerio's lawyer called her. William then asks if they can meet this Largo. Somewhere in Brazil, Largo is dragged out from a prison cell when he suddenly starts fighting the guards. He locks them up in his cell, and then sneaks off to the prison manager's office. There he surprisingly sees Freddy. Apparently, Freddy was about to bribe the prison manager to get him out. Largo knocks the manager unconscious, and the two run out to Freddy's car to escape. Other police see them and start shooting at them, but they manage to drive off. Their car is however totally devastated, and Largo soon discovers the brakes no longer work. Driving down a hill, they almost crash into a truck, and not long after, they almost end up in a head-on collision with another car. Largo dodges the collision, but the car rolls over. They hear the truck approaching, but Freddy's foot is stuck, and Largo tries to help him. As the truck appears, Freddy's foot comes loose, and the two get out in the nick of time. While trying to calm down from the stress, Freddy tells Largo his father has died. Next, Largo is at a hospital in Hong Kong, where he takes farewell to his father. A doctor walks in, offering his sincere condolences, and tells Largo he took the liberty to do a second more detailed post-mortem, having found out Nario was murdered, and hands him a report. Largo shares the report with Freddy, and then takes a walk in the city. We see a flashback to Largo's teenage years, to a moment when Largo tells Nario he doesn't want to inherit the $20 billion since money makes you lonely. Nario replies he isn't lonely since he has him as his son, to pass things on to. Largo remarks he only has money to pass on, but then Nario picks up a knife, saying this is his most precious belonging despite being worth only a couple dollars. A long time ago, Nario's father abused him and his mother, and after having worked hard in secrecy for months, he could afford a knife. He threatened to kill his father if he didn't let him and his mother leave. Nario explains that it helped him stand up for himself, after which he hands the knife to Largo and says that, it is now his. Back to the present, 
Largo is seen drinking a lot, and Freddy watches him. The following morning, a man called Godier wakes him up, who was his father's butler, and tells Largo that Freddy dropped him off. At breakfast, Godier says that a Mr. Korsky, who has amassed a fortune from gun running, has requested to have a lunch meeting with him later today. Next, Meyer is seen on the phone again, saying he will find out who the secret heir is. As he arrives at the W Group Tower, a woman mentions the secret heir is talking with the board right now. In the boardroom, all the board members are telling Largo he has no proof he is Nerio's heir. Largo then starts stating personal things about every board member in the room, saying Nerio told him everything about them. He also explains that Nerio put all his W Group shares in an Anschluss company based in Liechtenstein to avoid inheritance tax. That Anschluss company in turn has 10 shares, and the holder of them owns the 65% majority stake in W Group, and Largo is the only one to know where they are. A woman tells Meyer the heir can't speak with him before next week, and Meyer gets up. As Largo explains Nerio was murdered and that he is there to find the murderer, Meyer enters, saying he needs to tell Largo something. But then suddenly he gets shot to death, and Largo quickly chases after the unknown assassin. He gets to a public restroom where he starts looking, and suddenly a man attacks him from behind. Apparently it is the head of security Marcus, who quickly apologizes and lets him go. The two kick in a toilet door where they think the assassin hides, only to see Nerio's old secretary. While discussing Meyer later, his phone suddenly starts ringing. Largo answers, and a woman thinking it's Meyer that answered says Mr. Korsky wants to talk. He immediately hangs up, recalling he himself has a meeting with Korsky, and the board members wonder what that crook wants. Next, Largo meets with Mr. Korsky, and is surprised to see Leia in his company. Mr. Korsky however calls her Naomi, and she leaves them. Korsky reveals that he's the owner of the IMX investment fund, and has bought up 6% of W Group, saying he will announce a takeover bid in 20 minutes, which he wanted to tell Largo in person. Before leaving, Largo tells Korsky he owns a 65% majority share, and that a takeover is impossible, but Korsky replies they will see. Afterwards, Largo calls Freddy and asks him to find out all he can about Naomi. We then see a flashback to Yosef's funeral three years earlier, where Largo meets Hana and Yoran. As the three later look through old photos together, Largo finds a box with his old stuff, and a logo of an orphanage, asking Hana if that's where he was adopted from. Next, he and Yoran are seen going to the orphanage, but Largo is told the law forbids adopted children to see their files. So, that night, Largo breaks into the place, but is caught. As Yoran has posted bail for him, he tells Largo he spent the night there after the police left, and got into the archives, but found no file about him anywhere. Back at the present, board members comment Korsky's takeover is real poison for the company. Ferguson then reveals Nario foresaw Korsky's intentions, having planted a spy in Korsky's entourage who has uncovered Korsky's secret company structure. Right now, they own options on 19% of all Korsky's shares, and so they can do a surprise counter takeover. William informs her the law demands they make takeovers publicly known and that it won't be a surprise, but Ferguson says that a private individual doesn't have to do that, and she looks at Largo. William says it will cost $3 billion, and Largo says he doesn't have that. Ferguson suggests William loan Largo the money from their company-owned bank, but William refuses to lend a man he doesn't know that amount without guarantees. Largo then asks William if his Anschluss shares will suffice. Again, a flashback is seen when Largo confronts his father about his files missing from the orphanage. He demands to get the file, but Nerio says that he burned it, making Largo angry. He tells Nerio to find another heir, and leaves him. Back at the present, Largo arrives at Hana's home. While there, Freddy calls, telling Largo that he found out Naomi is a kind of escort girl that is often involved in shady business deals, and that she has worked for Korsky for a month, but that she has now vanished, and Korsky is upset. The following morning, Hana is suddenly attacked, being threatened to reveal where Largo is. Simultaneously, Largo is seen arriving at an island by boat. Driving through a cave, he enters the middle of the island where an estate lies. Once, Nerio and Largo used to come there for one month every year so that Nerio could teach Largo his business. Largo goes to a hidden safe inside, but just as he opens it, Marcus appears. Largo quickly throws a knife at him, and pushes him against a wall, but others appear with guns. Largo begins fighting them, and then jumps out of a nearby window to escape. Marcus picks out the 10 Anschluss shares from the safe, after which they get to a helicopter and start chasing Largo. They see him at a cliffside, and Marcus shoots him as he jumps, hitting him in the air. He lands in the water, and Marcus leaves. Largo wakes up later that day on the shore, having been shot in the shoulder. 
He quickly heads back to Hana, and as he returns to the house, it has just caught fire, and he finds Hana dead on the floor. Sorrowful and mourning, he leaves Hana in the burning house and walks out, but collapses in exhaustion almost immediately. Next, Largo wakes up in a house, and a woman bids him good morning. He soon recalls the woman's name being Melina, who has apparently taken over as a doctor after her father. She tells him it's a miracle he's alive with such a wound, and Largo replies jokingly he is invincible. Next, Godier is seen with Freddy, worried, and impatiently waiting for Largo to call, and suddenly he does, saying he needs Freddy to pick him up. That evening, Freddy meets with Marcus, saying he wants to meet with his boss. Marcus asks what he wants, and Freddy answers Largo is still alive, but that he can tell them where he is if he is compensated. Freddy is then led to Marcus's boss, and is surprised to see that it's Ferguson. He asks if she was the one that killed Nario, and she answers that, yes, she did it, but for the company's sake. Nario was already dying, she just made his death more timely. Freddy says Largo will call later to be picked up, and he can tell them where if she emails him the takeover plans of Korsky's company so that he can invest his money and become a rich man. She accepts, saying he will go to a hotel room with Marcus, receive the plans, after which they will wait for Largo's call, and Marcus will take care of the rest. Largo is seen with Melina, who asks if his friend is even coming. That same instant they see the airplane they're waiting for. Largo says he will come back to see her, but she replies he shouldn't talk rubbish, but quickly kisses him before she gets into her car and drives away. A big jet arrives, and it's none other than Korsky stepping out greeting him. On the jet, Largo shows them an email, and explains they will be taken over by the W Group. Korsky angrily asks who revealed his secret corporate structure, and Largo answers it was Naomi, who is working for Ferguson. Korsky doesn't believe him, but Largo continues explaining, saying this is why Naomi vanished. He says Ferguson has planned it all, explaining how Ferguson had Nario killed, convinced Meyer to reveal information to him, tricking him into attempting a takeover, and that she tricked himself to reveal where the Anschluss shares were. They have a drink together, and Largo tells Korsky that, if he withdraws his takeover bid, Ferguson won't be able to convince the general meeting to give her full powers. Korsky agrees, after which they fly to Hong Kong together. At the hotel room, Naomi suddenly knocks on the door and comes in. She is there to get paid for her work. Suddenly, Freddy's phone rings, and it's Largo, telling Freddy his new pal loved the email very much. Freddy writes a note where to pick him up. But, another phone rings, and after Marcus is answered, he walks up to Freddy and hits him hard, saying he has had Korsky's phone wired for a month, and Largo just used it to call him. Naomi sees it all. The next morning, shareholders arrive at a fancy hotel for the general meeting. As Korsky is on his way to the meeting, he is stopped by Marcus, but who finds no Largo in the car. At the airport, Largo is seen being picked up by Korsky's trusted chauffeur, but sees Naomi in the driver's seat instead. She tells him the other chauffeur took too many sleeping pills, and hands him a $500,000 IOU, saying she will hand him over to Marcus if he doesn't sign. She calls Marcus and notifies them where they are, and Largo is forced to sign to get her to drive him away. As he has signed, Naomi gives him extra information, saying someone he knows is in the presidential suite. Meanwhile, Ferguson is seen talking to board members, saying that, as Nario learned Largo was dealing drugs in Brazil, he changed his air, having given the new hair the Anschluss shares instead, showing the board members the 10 shares. Somewhere else, Naomi has given the car to Largo, and as Largo heads for the hotel, Marcus sees him and starts chasing him. Largo causes a traffic accident to occur, which traps Marcus behind him. Simultaneously at the hotel, an introductory film describing Nerio's life is shown to the general meeting. Largo eventually gets stuck in traffic, and discovers Marcus is just behind him. A chase ensues on foot, and they end up at a bus station. While Marcus runs into people and is distracted, Largo manages to jump onto a moving bus, and Marcus totally loses sight of him, informing guards at the hotel to close all doors. Largo arrives at the hotel and pretends to carry goods to sneak in. Next, he's changed into hotel service clothes, and enters the presidential suite. On the balcony, he sees the one person he least expected to meet, Yoron. Yoron begins telling Largo a story. The day the two went to the archives at the orphanage, he searched for hours, and like he once said, he didn't find Largo's file, but found something much more interesting. The day Nario left that orphanage, he left with two kids, Largo, and himself. Apparently, Yosip and Hana couldn't have children, and so Nario gave them a gift, which was himself. Yoron says he never was supposed to find out, but unfortunately he did. He went to see Nario, and threatened to go public with it. 
To keep him quiet, Nario gave him money. But Nario made a mistake, he told Ferguson, who then found him and offered much more money, with one condition, that he became CEO of W Group. Yoran tells Largo he must understand why he accepted, but then Largo picks up Hana's necklace, and asks if he also accepted Hana's death. Yoran didn't know, and gets devastated. That same instant, Marcus suddenly appears. While Largo is held at gunpoint, Yoran stands up and attacks Marcus. Unfortunately, Yoran is shot. Marcus has no ammunition left, and so he and Largo continue fighting. Largo uses his father's knife, but Marcus is strong and difficult to fight. Suddenly, in the middle of Largo struggling, Marcus tells Largo that his father struggled too. He throws Largo over the ledge, but Largo manages to hold on to him, and stabs Marcus with the knife. Largo then climbs up on the roof again, and sees Marcus die. He goes up to Yoran who is dying, and Yoran tells a small joke, after which he passes away. Largo goes back in and calls Freddy. As he does, a phone starts ringing somewhere in the apartment, and he finds Freddy tied in a wardrobe. Freddy picks up a phone while smiling. Next, Ferguson is holding a speech and is about to announce Yoran as CEO, when suddenly a recording appears on the screens, showing Ferguson explaining to Freddy how she had Nario killed. As Ferguson tries to walk out, she is confronted by Largo, who holds up the 10 Anschluss chairs. She leaves angry, and is escorted out by police. Suddenly, William stands up and introduces the heir, Largo Winch, and all the shareholders make a standing ovation. At an airport, Naomi hears how CEO Largo Winch has reached an agreement with Mr. Korsky to end hostile takeovers between their two companies. She decides to rip the $500,000 IOU apart, and puts it in an envelope, asking staff to send it for her, being addressed to Largo Winch. In the last scene, a child is seen playing in a rural area in Yugoslavia, as he suddenly sees Largo. Largo asks what his name is, and the boy responds it is Danis. The boy playfully says Largo is on his territory, and as he leaves, the boy asks what his name is, and he answers, Largo Winch, after which the boy tells him to take care. The end. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this, and hit the like button to help us out. Until next time, take care.